military training has begun. Eric Ten Hag took advantage of the Premier League postponement and started the entire team in military training. Eric Ten Hag, who will face the Sheriff in the Europa League after the defeat in the Real Sociedad match, will train the team hard until the last day of the match. Manchester United, who will go to Moldova tomorrow, had the last hard training today. According to the Sun newspaper, many players collapsed from exhaustion and had difficulty getting up. Eric Ten Hag, who does not want to experience the misfortune experienced in the Real Sociedad match, will come out with the team he trusts the most. Cristiano Ronaldo has announced that he has rejected an offer worth £210 million from Saudi Arabia. Cristiano Ronaldo has reportedly turned down a chance to become the world's highest paid football player. Spanish broadcaster Marca has announced that it has confirmed reports in Portugal that Saudi Arabian club Al Hilal has offered the Manchester United superstar a £210 million contract for two seasons. With the offer from the Riyadh based side, Ronaldo would earn £2 million a week. Despite his ties to teams such as Cristiano Ronaldo, Atletico Madrid, Sporting and Napoli, he failed to transfer to a club in the Champions League. Ronaldo has since been primarily used from the bench under new manager Eric Ten Hagiai. The World Cup now seems to be Ronaldo's main focus and a January transfer remains a possibility. So what is your opinion on this matter? Should Ronaldo leave the club in January? Paul Merson believes hiring Eric Ten Hag was a mistake. Sky Sports expert Paul Merson believes Manchester United made a mistake by not hiring Graham Potter instead of Eric Ten Hagiai. As reported in the Daily Star, Merson says United missed out on a big manager by not bringing in the former Brighton boss, who was Chelsea manager. I've said before that Manchester United should put him ahead of Eric Ten Hag and I stand by that statement, Merson said. Former Arsenal star Merson believes the Blues did a great job hiring Potter as their next manager after Thomas Tuchel was sacked last week. Merson thinks the English manager has proven he can go up against the best teams and managers in the country and can't wait to see how it turns out for him at Stamford Bridge. So what is your opinion on this matter? Do you think Graham Potter will be successful in Chelsea? We couldn't get him Premier League club scout admits his team wanted Anthony before Manchester United transfer. Chelsea spotter Pete de Visser has announced that he would like to sign Anthony from Ajax before moving to Manchester United. Manchester United forward Anthony was spied on by Chelsea scout Pete de Visser before moving from Brazilian Ajax to Old Trafford. The Blue Scout had planned to bring the 22-year-old to Stamford Bridge a long time ago. Anthony went to United in the transfer window last summer in a deal worth £86 million, including add-ons. However, De Visser was considering bringing Anthony to Chelsea during his time with Brazil's youth teams. This transfer took place because Eric Ten Hag wanted Anthony so much and Anthony came to United, not Chelsea. Daniel Bachmann confirms Manchester United transfer interest. Watford goalkeeper Daniel Bachmann has confirmed that Manchester United are in talks to sign him during the transfer window last summer. The Red Devils were determined to sign a new goalkeeper after hiring Dean Henderson to Nottingham Forest, Bachmann was set as the best target. There have been multiple talks with the Hornets but no agreement between the clubs as the championship side has opted to sell him permanently. As a result, United turned their attention to Newcastle United's Martin Dubravka, who came on loan on the last transfer day, the deal includes an option to buy next summer. Speaking to Redaction in Austria, Bachmann said it was widely known that United were interested in him and they had been in contact for several weeks. But in the end, there was no move, and Bachmann does not regret it. On the program, he said, there have been talks with Manchester United, 
It's not a secret, of course, it's great to be associated with a club like this. It was also a serious story, but that transfer didn't happen. Much has been said about De Gea's distribution and mobility this term, but he continues to remain the first choice. The Spaniard had a poor start to the campaign with a few blunders, but has sorted himself over the past five matches. Eric Ten Hag willing to move for Santiago Arias. The news suggested that Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag was willing to offer free agent Santiago Arias to an Old Trafford deal. Known as the perfect man by former Leverkusen coach Peter Boss, Arias has been linked to his recent move to Manchester. One journalist even said that after leaving Atletico Madrid over the summer, the 30-year-old had his bags ready to move to Manchester United. The Colombian player actually shares the same agency as Ten Hag and it looks like the United boss will be open to a potential move. They claim that Ten Hag is genuinely willing to welcome right back at Old Trafford to give Diogo Dalot and Aaron Wan-Bissaka a competitive edge. So what is your opinion on this subject? Would you like to see Santiago Arias in Manchester? Perfect next step. Manager says move to Manchester United can work out very good for player. Today, Brazilian origin TNT Sports published an interview with Ajax boss Alfred Schroeder ahead of their Champions League match against Liverpool, and one of the topics was Antony's transfer to Manchester United. The coach made it clear that his club was always open to the idea of selling Antony, as they have a good relationship with the player, the problem was the timing of the Old Trafford side. This has been a disappointment for me, I talked about it, this is the philosophy of Ajax, they play well for two or three years and they can go, so the perfect next step for him could very well be. But that window moment wasn't good for us, Schroeder said. Antony has joined Manchester United on a five-year deal and has scored once in two games so far. Fabrizio Romano says Manchester United will be in Jude Bellingham fight next summer. Transfer expert Fabrizio Romano says get ready for a big race to sign Jude Bellingham from Borussia Dortmund next summer. Fabrizio Romano cites Real Madrid, Liverpool, United and Manchester City as the leading teams for Jude Bellingham's transfer. Next summer is going to be a crazy, crazy race, says Romano. My sources are telling me, be prepared, the Bellingham race will be between many top clubs, it will be similar to the Erling Holland race, he said in his novel report. Liverpool need a new midfielder so they will definitely want to sign Bellingham. Real Madrid are also looking for a midfielder, they have been following Bellingham for a long time. In England, Manchester City and Manchester United have followed him for a long time. If Manchester United advances under Eric Ten Hag and closes the gap with their rivals, chances of signing Jude Bellingham look very high.